Hey Sinten, here's some football etiquette for your homecoming game tonight. The first thing you should know is that seniority is always in play. Seniors in the front, followed by the other grades behind. Don't worry freshmen, you'll get your turn eventually. The second thing to know is to participate in cheers. It's always fun cheering on the football players and cheering with the cheerleaders. The next thing you need to know is to never throw trash or water bottles. Just put it by your feet until you have time to go throw it away. Football games are fun, but it's even better when you participate in themes. Tonight's theme is pool party, so come decked out in your poolside essentials. That's all you need to know for your football etiquette. See you tonight in the Fortress for our homecoming game at 7.30. Go Knights! Welcome back to St. Alley. You're here with you. I'm your favorite host, The Joker, and this is Supergirl. And here's another episode of The Loft. Hey, everybody. That's weird. Why is that so weird? Hi, I'm Mr. Beekner, and I teach audio, video, technology, and film. And you're watching The Loft. He starts on the flag, and then Batman. Batman, Spider-Man, who's winning? How many stars on the flash? And then what are you going to be for Halloween? No, no, we're not going. It's turn around. What? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I said the answer. Wait. Don't, don't think of that. Okay, wait. Yeah. I am taking a spot. You're taking a spot? You'll never replace Robbie. Yes, I will. And what's the other one? I literally forgot my own answer. I'm so sorry. Nobody? I'll just do one question. Okay. Do the country one. Okay. How many countries start with F? That's not the question. Um, <laughs> okay. Are you recording? Oh, hello. This is Jordan G. Can you hear what I'm saying? Tonight night's football takes on Westminster away. What did you read? What the? I'm reading. Stop complaining. Alright. Okay. Are you ready? Come on, get over this one. This side? Okay. Oh my god, I'm starving. Okay, tell me one. It's wrong. Okay. What do I say? Oh my god. Okay. Hey. Uh, okay. Oh, you're not like that. You two think for like dumb people? Yeah. yeah. Do you want oh yeah. Whoa. 96. <laughs> You can't grab the mic. Don't, don't. 12. Let me don't guess again. Let me guess. 96. <laughs> okay. Um. Jordan G. Back with another man. Okay. Hey guys, it's Jordan G. Back with another man on the street. It's going to be a ri okay. I messed up.
Unfortunately, the Queen has failed to clutch up from Gulag. It's unlikely we will see them again. However, our cameraman is back, so welcome back, Anonymous. People are already getting Christmas decorations when we haven't even gotten through Halloween or Thanksgiving. Here's Cooper Wood to talk about his opinion on the matter. What's your opinion on these decorations for Christmas and Thanksgiving when we haven't even made it through Halloween yet? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of hate holidays in general. But why, though? Um, don't you think it's a little weird? No. A serial burglar comes into your house and leaves presents? It's not weird? Well, well when you say it like that, I, I mean, maybe? I, you can go ahead and go. There's a video circling around the internet of a Chick-fil-A employee fighting a carjacker who was attempting to steal a vehicle. The carjacker's name was Branch. What a stupid, stupid name. North Korea is clinging on tightly to their nuclear weapons, claiming they seek diplomacy as fears of disarmament would render the country completely powerless on the global scale. I don't know he was chill like that. He just like me, for real, for real. I am suffering from an endless amount of pain and suffering. I hate coming to this studio to make stupid corny jokes Zach wrote because he has absolutely nothing better to do with his life other than ponder about something completely unforeseen. Yo, you know there's a punchline on that joke you just said, right? Underwear. Ha! Huh? I made you say underwear. Bicycle. I have no idea where our anchor just went, but I'm happy for him. I wish I could be like him. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. That should do it. It's pretty cringy, but it'll be fun. To talk for three minutes before I get to the point. Hi, I'm Mr. Beekner, and I teach audio, video, technology, and film. The hardest part about teaching is, you know, every day trying to have something where everyone feels like they can be involved and have a meaningful experience. So I would just say that, you know, trying to get everybody together every day, every minute. I try not to think about snakes because I don't, I, although I have a healthy respect for them, I don't want to see them or have them near me because I, right now I feel like they're crawling all over me anyway, so no thank you. Doing film as a hobby before I taught was just that. It was a hobby. There was no sense of urgency with it. It was just something that I did. But since I've become a teacher, I've become a better filmmaker. Because I've had to share the experience with so many students, it, it has become something that I've become more proficient at. Hands down, the best sport, not just my favorite sport, is baseball. It's a thinking man's game. It has limitless possibilities. I mean, essentially, in theory, a game could go on forever. I'm Marissa Charlotte. I'm a senior and I'm in dramatic writing. I chose this class because I really love the creative storytelling aspect of uh, AV, which I've been in for several years now. And I wanted to explore that further and I thought that dramatic writing was a great way to do that. The thing I'm most looking forward to is learning how to write more for screenplays in like the TV and movie format because um, I do enjoy writing in like a dramatic novel form but i um, excited to learn about the uh, television and film aspects of it. My name is Sammy and I am in 12th grade. I chose dramatic writing because it really caught my attention. You know, having the aspect of being in class and writing about what you feel and nothing about just school related stuff. You really just write about, you know, everyday life or you create your own story and I find that very interesting in dramatic writing. My name is Michael McClinton and I'm a senior. I chose dramatic writing because it's something that I found interesting. It's something that's a little bit more unconventional than the stereotypical literature class that I wanted to try something new. The journal entries also are my favorite, being able to give it to just be given a random prompt and be able to write a story uh, in a, like 10 minutes about anything, about an image, just thoughts that come to your head. And having that freedom to do really whatever is, I'll say is my favorite thing so far. Uh, my name's Laura and I'm a senior. I really like creativity and in this class you get to be super creative. It's all like your own ideas. I guess our 
playlist narrative writing. That was pretty fun. Creating a playlist and then just writing about it. Deep breaths, deep breaths. It's okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what do I say again? Uh, I'm AJ, I'm a junior, and this year for this show, I am one of the assistant stage managers. Hi, I'm Lemon, I'm in the 11th grade, and I'm the crew head for costumes in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Hi, my name's Jay, I'm a freshman, and I am set crew and follow spot operator. Hi, my name's Ada, I'm a junior, and I am sound crew slash board operator. Hi, I'm Ali, I'm a sophomore, and I am Miss Bucket in the play and also help with costumes. I am Violet, I am in ninth grade, so I'm a freshman, and I work with set crew. My name is Michael McClendon, I am in 12th grade, a senior, and I am the head of sound design. Uh, as assistant stage manager, I, um, I make sure everything's organized, make sure everyone's there on time, and during production is when our uh, role really gets to shine, and we take over for the director and make sure everything's running smoothly during the shows. One thing I enjoy about being the head of sound design would I guess would be just being able to learn the technology of it, learning how to operate certain things. My favorite part is the just overall like fun of just like creating costumes for me specifically, but also how everyone collaborates and creates new ideas for the show. I'm looking forward to seeing the way that the two different casts uh, perform and their differences and the way that they're similar. So I like that I get to meet a lot of new people. I've been making a lot of new friends. I look forward to hanging out with my friends and being able to perform for Centennial. Uh, I look forward to seeing some of the sets that I helped create in the play. I want Centennial to know that the play is very fun and whimsical and it has a bit of humor. We're working really hard on this play and it's going to be really cool, so you should come and watch it. Last spring, Centennial revamped the weight room. Let's take a look. The weight room got brand new rubber flooring and turf. The turf allows athletes to work different speed and agility drills, as well as working with two new agility speed ladders. This allows athletes to benefit both in season and out of season. This project was sponsored by the Football Booster Club. Players are already in the new weight room and enjoying the new renovations. Reporting for C100, this has been Kari Brin. Last chance to join this year's Sun 10 Swim and Dive Team. Registration is ending, so don't miss out. Swimmers and divers of all levels of experience are welcome. Email the swim board at email below. CSPN. Sports? Is that what I say? What's up, Centennial? Welcome back to CSPN. Last week, our night softball team had a big region win against Northview, winning 16-4. Last weekend, the Knights lacrosse team won their first preseason game against Alatoona High School. And last Wednesday, girls volleyball had a great fight against Northview, winning two sets to none. And here's our host, Aiden Schloud, with news about the football game. Tonight is the homecoming game. Our Knights football team will take on Kel tonight at the Fortress. The theme is pool party. Make sure to bring your nicest pair of goggles. Kickoff is at 7.30. Hope to see everyone there. And that's it for this week's Centennial. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next week. And we hope to see you tonight at the Fortress. Go Knights!